50, 60. Come on, keep the pace up. We've got a long way to go before we get home. Morning, Catelyn. Thunder, weather's holding up. Should make good time today. Daniel, seen Gabriel this morning. Oh, not again. Damn it, Gabriel. Where are you? Saren. Come on, we've got to go. Come on, let's go. Come on, Saren. What do you think, Saren? Come on, I'm getting better. I'm ready for whatever we run into. Bumpy roads, bit of drizzle, stuff of legend. Come on, girl. <laughs> The convoy will be moving on soon. We better get you ready. Good girl, Saren. There's a good girl. Whoa! There you are, Gabriel. Catelyn, I thought you were getting the convoy ready. You and that old mare are holding everyone up again. You mean the tribe's already left? But... What were you doing? Were you distracted by the butterflies? Or were you just daydreaming about old fables? No, I was just about to get Seren ready. Look, I'm not letting you out of my sight until I know you can keep up. But this is the last time I come back for you. Absolutely, it won't happen again. Now get Seren harnessed up and let's get moving. All right, I just need to get me... Now, up... Gabriel! Come on, Gabriel. The convoy will be miles away by now. All right, all right, I'm coming. Come on! Keep your moustache on. Come on. We've got a lot of catching up to do. The tribe will be well on their way by now. Track the reins once to make Saren trot. Once trotting, you can accelerate to a gallop by cracking the reins a second time. What were you doing back there, anyway? Nothing. Yeah. And you'd have done that all day if I hadn't come back. I can't always be there looking out for you. To steer right, pull the right rein towards your body and push the left rein away. To steer left, pull the left rein towards your body and push the right rein away. While steering, try to keep your hands low and make large, clear movements. Fix up this old cart, Gabriel. Soon. I just haven't got round to it yet. Too busy fighting imaginary trolls and balverines, more like. It's about to get rougher. Careful you don't make Saren run over any rocks. Let's keep it slow through here, nice and easy. 
Gently pull the reins to your chest to lower your speed. Rough terrain will injure Saren unless ridden over at a trot. Your cart won't get far without a horse, so make sure you take good care of her. Easy now. Slow it down, Gabriel. There you go. Why can't you drive like this all the time? That's the way. Zarin may be old, but there's still a few miles left in the old girl. Don't listen to him, girl. He just wishes he had a horse like you. Yeah, right. That'll be it. If you think these roads are dangerous, wait till we get to the coast. You mess up. You and Seren are going for a swim. Come on, show me how fast you can stop this thing. Just so I know I don't have to worry about you when we get there. If you need to come to a full stop quickly, pull the reins back high over your head. All right, I feel better now. Now let's get moving. Catch up to the convoy. As you travel, you'll come across experience orbs on the road. Collecting these will allow you to purchase upgrades. Green orbs can be collected at any speed, but other colors require specific speeds. A few more miles and we'll be crossing Reaver's Reach Bridge then on to shale fields to set up the summer camp. If the going's good, we should be there in less than a day. Where does the time go? Seems like only yesterday we were running through the fields, play fighting with sticks, not care in the world. Sometimes I miss those days. Things were simpler then. What a view. Look there on the horizon, Bowerstone, or bricks and smoke. Why would anyone live in a place like that when they could have the open road, eh? There's a storm brewing. See? There, above the spire. Maybe it's coming from the spire. That tower's magical, you know. I read it near the end of the world once. Whoa! Wherever that storm's coming from, it's heading this way. I need to ride ahead now. We'll be at Reaver's Reach soon. I have to make sure the tribe's together when we cross. Just make sure you keep up the pace, all right? Saren can go even faster. While galloping, crack the reins once to make Saren sprint. Each time you crack the reins to make Saren sprint, you'll use up some of her stamina. 
If the stamina bar in the bottom center empties, continuing to crack the reins will injure Sarah. Take a break from sprinting and the bar will recharge. Come on, Sarah. Let's see how fast we can catch up with the trine. You ready, girl? I can't wait to get to shale fields. Just think this time tomorrow we'll be across the river iron wash and in the summer camp, lying in the long grass, looking up the clouds, not caring the world. Glowing circles show optional side areas to explore. If you want to take a break from your journey, just slow down or stop within the circle to see where it leads. My theater of fate, sir. They call me Benny the Magnificent. Although everyone else calls me Jeffrey. <gasps> what do you see? Wait! Do not speak! For Benny the Magnificent knows all things. <sighs> ah, yes. I see it now. What you seek is... for me to wallpaper your dining room a week next Thursday? Uh, maybe you could just tell me my future? Do I have to cross your palm with silver? What? Silver? Oh, did you guess? That's right, silver. You must cross my palm with silver. I don't have any silver. Well, why didn't you say that in the first place? You've really not got the hang of this, have you? All right, just this once, I'll do it for free. I... Yes, it's coming to me now. With the moon and stars high up in the heavens, the night may not be as dark as usual. A stranger could appear. Or perhaps a friend, colleague, family member, or some other living thing and say something to you using words you may not be able to hear. Such is your fate. Now go, safe in the knowledge of foresight, for Benny the Magnificent knows all things. And now farewell. For the pathway of my destiny draws me to a new plane of existence. <coughs> oh, blimey. That really catches the back of your throat. That storm's getting worse. Look, Seren! The convoy's just up ahead. Catelyn didn't need to worry about us at all. We can be pretty fast when we have to be, eh, girl? Daniel, keep the line tight as we cross the bridge. We've had reports of hop raiding parties roaming the Edgelands. What's the world coming to? Gabriel, so glad you could join us. I'm needed at the front of the convoy. I'll see you when we get to Reaver's Reach Bridge. Can I go with you? I need you to stay here at the back. Keep an eye out for danger. What shall I do with the other eye? 
Very funny. Just do your job and keep up with the convoy. I'm counting on you. And make sure you don't fall asleep again, all right? I'm not pulling you out of any more ditches. Yeah! Yeah! Did you hear that, Sarah? Did you hear what he said to me? As if I doze off at the rains again after all the trouble I got into last time. the convoy before it reaches the bridge, Catelyn might not realise we were gone. Catelyn's never going to trust me again. The convoy! It's crossing the bridge! Damn it, Gabriel, where are you? Oh, unbelievable. All I had to do was stay awake. Why didn't I stay awake? How long was I asleep? This storm was miles away. It's going to take days to get to Maya Mall. Did we even make it that far? Well, let's just try to get through Fairwood first. And then we'll take it from there. I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe we're stuck out here, alone, miles away from anywhere. 
just stayed awake, we'd be across that bridge and on our way home by now, not stuck out here. The map says there's a village up ahead. Maybe someone there will be able to help us. Just earned your first upgrade token. You can access your upgrades from the pause menu. To pause the game now, hold your left arm straight out to the side. We have to be careful, Seren. You heard what Catelyn said about the roads being dangerous. So long as we keep ourselves to ourselves, maybe we'll be all right. At least the weather's holding up for us. Away. What is this thing? It's everywhere! Drive! Drive! Head for the sunbeams. It may buy us some time. Recoiled from the light. It's still after us! Why is it chasing you? Everything this creature consumes, it corrupts with evil. Corrupts with evil? Go, Saren, go! Go! 
losing everything! How are we gonna get away from this thing? Shooting at us! Left! Watch your left! Keep going, Seren. You have to keep going. Veer away from this evil. Do not let it touch the horse. It's hopeless. We're never going to get away. It's everywhere. Right. Watch your right. Whoa! Head for the tunnel. It's the only way. That was close. Too close. It will not be so easily deterred. Light has saved us. Siren's hurt. We have to find somewhere to stop. Just need to hold on a little bit longer, girl. <coughs> Just a little further, Siren, and you'll be able to rest. You have to hold on, girl. <coughs> Whoa, girl. I have to get those splinters out of you. Whatever that was, it's gone now. I know. I know I'm scared too. Saren has been seriously injured. Grab the splinter with your right hand and slowly pull it out. Be careful while pulling the splinter or you may hurt Saren. Girl, it's out. Back there, you call me Gabriel. How do you know my name? Seers know many things. You're a seer? They only exist in stories. There is much that is true in stories. That's right, girl. Mia. Someone from a tribe might be able to help her. I was on my way back there now, but we were separated at Reaver's Reach. Your horse will not last the journey. The poison from the Devourer's attack is spreading quickly. Poison? We have to get it out. How do we get it out? There may be a way to save her. Not far from here, there is a place where you can heal your horse. I can guide you. Let's go then. I need you to 
to be strong now, girl. We should leave. Now. You have to hang on. You have to. Go on, Saren. Go on, girl. Gently does it. Just hang on, Saren. We're almost there. Follow this road. I can't lose her. Then you must keep her moving. The poison is spreading. What happens if it finds us again? A choice will have to be made. To run or to fight. Fight? What chance would we have against that thing? After what happened back there? And yet, we are still alive. There. Follow the stream, Gabriel. Is she gonna make it? You can see the future. Seers know everything, right? The injury the devourer dealt me appears to have clouded my vision. We have a chance. That is all I can be certain of. Where are we? The spirit chambers. It is a place long forgotten, built to protect an ancient artifact, which in the right hands can grant great power to heal, or to destroy. You hear that, Saren? We'll have you better before you know it. <sighs> I must warn you, Gabriel. The power to save your horse will come at a price. Then I'll pay it. Anything to save Saren. Very well. We are here. The pool of sight. <sighs> Leave the animal here. Don't be afraid. No evil can approach the pool. You'll be safe here, girl. I'm gonna find a way to make you better. Three heroes guard the pool and the artifact that lies beneath its surface. Blaze, the hero of fire. Stone, the hero of the fallen, and so the hero of light. Great champions who long ago sacrificed their lives so that Albion might live. Approach, Approach the pool. The statues! They're talking! Gaze, Gaze into the water. Into the water. to heal your horse lies within the water.
see something, can't you, Gabriel? I don't understand. What is this? A pool of sight is granting you a vision. No. No. No! Where am I? What is this place? Welcome, Gabriel. The pool has shown you a glimpse of the future, but you have been brought here to learn a greater truth. Your real trial is only just beginning. Bolt is your primary damage spell. To cast it, bring your right hand up to your shoulder, then thrust it towards your target. Whoa! This isn't real. It can't be. I must be dreaming. I'll wake up and I'll be back on the cart with Catelyn and the others. Push is your other main spell. To cast Push, raise your left hand up to your shoulder, then thrust forward. The spell will knock back your enemies, stunning them so they cannot attack for a short while. It can also be used to manipulate the environment. This magic, am I really doing it? How is all this happening? Will, the power of magic, ran through the veins of the ancient heroes. But the Archon's children have passed. Albion needs a new sentinel to stand watch against the night. Your push spell can be used to throw enemies and bits of the environment through the air. Cast push with your left hand normally, then once it is connected, sweep your hand in the direction you want to throw. Push can also be used to manipulate your environment. Here, 
Try casting push at the target with your left hand and then dragging sideways to clear it out of your way. A red target indicates an incoming attack. You can bounce attacks back at your enemies by using the counter spell. When the incoming attack icon is on screen, move your left hand across and slightly in front of your chest. While on foot, your health will regenerate if you're not taking damage. If you find yourself low on health, strafe to avoid enemy attacks or use your counter spell while you recover. While on foot, arrows on the screen indicate that you can move left or right. Drop both hands and lean to strafe. This is a great way to dodge incoming attacks. After touch allows you to redirect your bolt spell in mid-flight. After casting normally, move your hand across your body in the direction you want your bolt to go. Casting Bolt will use up the magical charge of the gauntlets. The blue bar in the top left of the screen shows their current charge. Depleting the gauntlets will leave your Bolt spell extremely weak until they recharge. I need to heal my horse and go home. Why are you doing this to me? What am I doing here? Long ago. We defeated an ancient evil. But our age is over. Young shoulders must bear the burden now. The battle lines have been drawn. Where three once prevailed, one must stand alone. The threads of time 
are converging on a single moment. The seer holds the key to restoring Albion's sight. The bloodline has faltered, but where there is will, new heroes can still be forged. He is What are these things? The artifacts I told you of. These gauntlets can unlock great power. to save Sarah. She's dying, Gabriel. You must hurry. <laughs> it's working, Saren. It's working. Don't worry, Saren. I'll have you better in no time. It's all right, girl. It's going to be all right. See, I told you it would make you better. Now we can go home again. Gabriel, the gauntlets are not only a means to heal, but also a weapon. Perhaps the only weapon that can defeat the evil to come. What do you mean? The gauntlets are now a part of you. Would you rather have let Seren die? Did I not warn you the power to save her would come at a price? You tricked me. Fate led me to you for a reason, Gabriel. The three heroes deemed you worthy for a reason. This is a mistake. Take them off. Take them off me now! I'm not a hero! The Devourer. He's found us! Huh? The powers within these chambers will not allow the creature to enter. So how are we gonna get out? There is another route, but we must head deeper into the caves. No. You must trust me. Gabriel. All right. All right, we'll go. But this better not be another trick. So how exactly are you going to get these things off me? There is a temple two days' ride from here. If you can retrieve what lies inside, I will be able to remove the gauntlets. And if I don't? Then you can wear the gauntlets for the rest of your life. And when we get to this place, what's going to get burned onto me there? What's going to chase us on the way? Gabriel, if I knew the exact path to tread, I would have finished my journey long ago. But I am not so blind to fate that I would lead you into unnecessary danger. When you sleep, what is in your dreams? Another day working in the stables? Another mile of road? Or something more magical? You will see Catelyn again, I promise you. For now, I ask that you trust me a little longer. This is the home of the Enlightened. The Enlightened? Followers of the three heroes who spoke to you at the pool. They dedicated themselves to preserving the peace that Soul, Blaze, and Stone had won for Albion. Wait until I tell Catelyn about all this, Seren. You'll never believe me. It is rare these days for men to believe in what they cannot see. I've just realized. I don't even know you. Teresa. My name is Teresa. Well, that's the formalities over with, then.
There's something out there. In the shadows. There is always something in the shadows, Gabriel. There are many things, many people who live at the edges of this world. Their intrusions are rarely noticed, but make no mistake, they are there. Battles rage unceasingly back and forth at Albion's fringes. They, we, have been there for centuries. You simply need to learn to see. Stay here, girl. Looks locked. Any ideas? Flip switches? There's another door down there. Should I go and open it? The alternative would be to stay in this cave forever. Well, I'll take that as a yes then. <whistles> Follow me, girl. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. I hope. There's definitely something in the shadows. Stay calm, Gabriel. Just stay calm. Well, this doesn't look good. Any ideas? There may be a way to raise the bridge from the other side. You must find a way across. Any chance I can fly over with these? No. Thought you might say that. Any other suggestions? You must be joking. What if there's something dangerous hiding in there? Then it's fortunate you're wearing those gauntlets. Don't worry. We'll be safe here. It's not you I'm worried about. Why don't you try crawling through this hole? What is that? Ah! That's the biggest bug I've ever seen. I did it! I did it! Looking for me? Just call me Gabriel the Bug Slayer.
right. Now they're really mad. <sighs> I hope that's the last of them. I made it! You did well, Gabriel. Now keep moving. This place is full of bugs. Really big bugs. There must be a nest nearby. Find it and eliminate it. Easy for you to say. You don't have any giant bugs chasing you. Oh, where do they all keep coming from? Again, those holes, they're coming out of those holes. That should hold them. Not bad, even if I do say so myself. Who needs bug spray when you've got magic gauntlets? Those things really need to stop bugging me. Yeah. This is no time for bad jokes, Gabriel. It's a lot of holes. And that's a lot of bugs! Maybe I've finally killed them all. Or not. This doesn't look very stable. I've got to get out of here! Fast! What's going on? This whole place is coming down! Get up, Gabriel, get up! Well, that was lucky. Nothing's getting out of there. Teresa, I found a nest. Quite a few, actually. I trust you eliminated them all. These gauntlets certainly came in useful. Stay on your guard. I sense a greater threat approaching. Well, that's something to look forward to. Whoa! Big bug. Big bug. I really hope they don't get any bigger than that. 
Hmm. Two flip switches. Keep trying, Gabriel. I did it! Maybe now we can finally get out of here. Saren! Hang on, girl, I'm coming! Did you see that, Saren? I saved you! This is no time for celebrations. We must keep moving. Oh. Ah. Must leave, now. Run, Saren! Run! Avoid the rocks or the cart will be destroyed. Left them behind. It's all right, Seven. We're clear. They're gone now. There you go, girl. Easy. Easy. Please tell me that's the way out. It is indeed. Finally, some good news. Troll! Our presence must have awoken it. You think? That thing looks really angry. Look out! Steer clear of the rocks. What do you think I'm trying to do? He's trying to bury us here. I can see that, thank you. Close. You did well, Gabriel. Perhaps you're more able than you think. I don't recognize this place. How are we going to get back on the main road from here? The temple we seek lies somewhere within Thorndeep Forest. Thorndeep? I've read stories about that place and none of them had happy endings. Can't we go around? The road will be dangerous, but we have little choice if we are to find the Temple of the Enlightened and retrieve what lies inside it. I would have a choice if you hadn't tricked me in the first place. What? We have nothing to say to that? That's the first for you. We are clear of the caves. <laughs> Unbelievable.
There, up ahead. We can stop there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't worry. As soon as I get these gauntlets off, we'll be on our way home. Tell me, Gabriel. What did you see in the pool of sight? I don't know what I saw. I saw... Something terrible. What you saw was Albion's future if a hero cannot be found to wield the gauntlets. Well, I hope you find one. So do I. Come on, girl. This rest stop is larger than most others. It's a great place to make camp and relax for a bit. Explore the area in your own time. You can care for Saren here, which will improve her health and earn you experience. When you're ready to leave, move back to your cart.
I've heard there's an evil lives in this forest. More than one, from what I recall. But it has been over a century since I was last here. <laughs> a century? That's impossible. You're not a hundred. No, far older than that. <laughs> so, foresight isn't the only gift you seers have? Nor is it our only burden. For 500 years, I have been the overseer of this world, used my powers to keep it on its rightful path, and watched as those I loved withered and passed while I endured. Long ago, Albion's future was entrusted to me, not a choice, but a duty. I stand at the periphery of this world, waiting, watching. I am the last of the hero bloodline, all that remains of the old order. I have watched many futures stretch before me, a thousand strands of possibility, each falling away until only a solitary truth remains, the true destiny of our world. I don't understand. Foresight is not only the ability to see the future, Gabriel, but the ability to know when we must act. Your horse seems rejuvenated. She's always been hardy, ever since she was a foal. That will be to our advantage. We need her at full strength to get us to the temple. I need her at full strength so I can get her home. That's all that matters. It's all right. What are those? Don't worry, girl. I'll deal with this. If there's one thing I hate more than bugs, it's flying bugs. And tapioca. Wait. There's something else down here. I'll only be a minute. These gauntlets, if they could heal Seren, maybe they could heal you, too. The wound the Devourer inflicted upon me is a scar upon my soul. It is an injury not even these gauntlets can heal. But you will get better. Do not worry about me, Gabriel. Once you remove these gauntlets, what will you do then? I must return to the Spire. The Magic Tower? Why do you have to go there? It has been my home for many years, and is the only place where the evil that is coming can be stopped.
We must keep our wits about us at all times. Danger is never far away in Thorndeep. All those times I read about this forest. I never dreamed of driving through it. When we reach the temple, what then? You will need to retrieve a willstone from inside it. What's that exactly? Willstones contain the powers of soul, stone and blaze. The three statues from the spirit chambers? They were the greatest heroes of their time, in an age when the bloodline was still strong. After their passing, their followers, the Enlightened, foresaw a future in which heroes would no longer be born. They would be made. They created the gauntlet so the power of the three could be wielded by one deemed worthy. Why me? Why was I worthy? A man is defined by his actions, not his bloodline. The three saw the goodness within your heart. The same goodness that spurred you to risk your life to save mine. When others would have left me to die. It would seem Thorndeep has acquired new tenants. Looks to me like someone didn't want to be disturbed. Maybe we should look for another way around. This is the only way through. Clear a path, Gabriel. All right, all right, I'll do it. All right, I'll admit it. That was kind of fun. Drive on. This place gives me the creeps. It should. Thorndeep has never been welcoming of outsiders. King Logan, desperate for resources to fight the Nightcrawler, created settlements here to bring the forest under the Crown's control. But a darkness prowls the shadows of this forest, waiting for the lights to go out. What happened to the people who lived here? The lamps can only burn for so long. When our monarch disappeared during the war in Samarkand, aid became less and less frequent, and the settlers were gradually forced to fight or to flee. Disappeared? I heard that, but I thought that was just a rumor. I only wish it were. Only the brave or the foolhardy take the road through Thorndeep. Which are we? Before we leave this forest, we shall have our answer.
Whoa, 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 whoa. So let me see if I've got this right. These gauntlets can be even more powerful. The powers the Enlightened wove into the gauntlets pale in comparison to the powers of the three hero Willstones. It is why the Enlightened spent centuries searching for them, why they placed them in secret temples to ensure their safety. It is said the one who finds all three Willstones will discover the true power the gauntlets can possess. Which way now? One of the temples of the Enlightened lies within this forest, but I do not know its exact location. Well, girl. Perhaps you could ask at that house. Path's too narrow. I'll never get the cart down there. You have feet, don't you? <sighs> Destroy the barrier. Get on the cart. Go and get directions. That woman has serious control issues. Hello? 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 I was wondering if you could give me some directions? Sorry, no. My mistake. I'll just be on my way. Not good. Gauntlets really are something. me just passing through <laughs> got to defend the car Saren Saren <laughs> looks like I made it just in time the last of them. Did you get directions to the temple? 
You're kidding, right? Drive on. We've wasted enough time here. You're welcome, by the way. That doesn't sound like anything good. Crawling with these things. I've never heard tell of a hob within this forest. In Brightwood and Greatwood, yes, but not in Thorndeep. Their presence here is most unexpected. Now we know who's been building those barricades. Clearly, I'm not the only one with the power of foresight. Mines. The Hobbs must have placed them here. Hold on. Here goes. Just keep it steady, Seren. I'll clear us a path with the gauntlet. The last of them. Hobbs. They really are disgusting. I mean, I've read about them in stories, and I thought they sounded bad then, but they're even worse in real life. Many worse things exist than Hobbs, Gabriel. These creatures are innocents perverted. Children stolen from their families and twisted by dark powers.
This gate looks sturdier. The hobs have been busy. Remember, Gabriel, the gauntlets can be used for more than just destruction. They have the power to manipulate objects from afar. Hey, I know that guy. I saw him yesterday. He's a fortune teller. If one believes in such things. Ah, our paths cross again. Oh, who have we here? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Benny the Magnificent, although most people call... Call you Jeffrey. You're a part-time mystic with no discernible psychic powers, who also runs a painting and decorating business at the expense of a burgeoning trichology clinic for balding cats. Within a week, you'll be fighting for your life after a group of marauding hobs ambushes you. Then you'll have an epiphany and reassess your life having found the real you. But... But of course you already know that, don't you? Eh, forgive me. For I sense I am needed on another plane of existence. Aha! Uh, there was a, a spider. A, a really big spider down there with, with massive fangs. And I, and, I, and I foresaw it was going to bite me. That's right. I foresaw it biting me. So, I'll just be going then. <sighs> that was a bit cruel. What is crueler? My speaking the truth or his telling lies? From what I've seen so far, there's not much in it. There's something I've been wondering about. I get that you can see the future, but how can you see where we're going? Physical sight is just one way of observing the world, Gabriel. My eyes are long gone, but I see in other ways. Could you be any more cryptic if you try? These hobs have taken over the whole place. These creatures seem unusually organized for such stupid beasts. You must scout ahead and find a way through. No, 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 absolutely not. There's no way I'm going down there alone. Absolutely no way, no. Why don't you scout ahead? I thought you were meant to be a seer. You wouldn't even need to leave the cart.
I wonder where that track leads. Right, scouting. What did Catelyn always say? Stay hidden, maintain the element of surprise, identify danger, then slip away unseen. Yeah, I bet he wasn't wading through hob droppings when he came up with that. Hey, I think I might actually be quite good at scouting. Great, more hobs, that's all I need. So much for the element of surprise. Of course, it was too much to hope the gate controls were on my side of the wall. Think, Gabriel, you can't let yourself get outsmarted by a bunch of hobs. Aha! The mine track! If the hobs can get through, then so can I. All right, just need to find a way through. I've known this wasn't going to be easy. I didn't really think this through, did I? I've probably alerted every hob in Thorn Deep by now. <laughs> this place doesn't look very stable. A minecart? Now we're getting somewhere. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. <sighs> okay. This isn't so bad. Yes! No, 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 no!
The other side of the gate. Exactly our plan. Well, he's definitely not a hob. Hold on, I'm coming. Let me down, you little blighters. Let me down now. hanging upside down for a couple of days. Bit of a headache, and, well, I think my hip may have popped out. Otherwise, fine. Hold on. I'll get you down. Much obliged, lad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm fine, really. Probably just a hairline fracture. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Get down! Oh, no. That was some display, lad. Not seen magic in these parts for many a year. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, dear boy. Fergus is the name. If you hadn't chanced along, well, I dread to think. Those pesky hobs. Very crafty. One minute I'm walking through the forest, minding my own business, looking for my... Well. So, how did you get here? On my cart. It's on the other side of that gate. Come on. I'll show you the way. Allow me, dear boy. There you go, lad. I've loosened it up for you. Oh. I opened the gate. Let's go. Good. We cannot afford any more delays. This is Fergus. He was trapped in the camp, but I saved him. We must be on our way. It will be night soon. Well, I really should be heading home. Thanks again, lad. Can we offer you a lift? Gabriel, get in the cart. My cart, you mean. Come on up. Oh, thank you, dear boy. <laughs> Pick it up, girl.
We'll be at my village in no time. Keep heading along this road, then it's just past a couple of clearings. I guess that isn't too far. From there, it's... Uh, um... Now, let me think. Ah, oh, yes. Straight on till you come to a tree shaped like an accordion. From there, well, well it's very close. Four, maybe five miles at most. Actually, that is quite far. Driving down a dusty trail, come sun or rain or wind or hail. The Getting road is hard, the journey long. Let's drive all day as we sing this song. On the bar. <laughs> So, what brings the two of you to Thorndeep? We're conducting a tour of the ancient temples in the region. Hmm. Ancient temples, you say? Yes. If I remember correctly, there's one east of here. Hmm. I've not been there since I was small. Well, smaller. I was never exactly what you'd call small. <laughs> hmm. The temple. Could you lead us to it? Perhaps once I'd have been happy to. I fear the roads have grown far too dangerous for the likes of me. Better keep moving. Treacherous place, Thorndeep. Especially at night. Lost many a friend to the evils that lurk here. Yes. Many a friend. You know I've an idea. And I think you'll agree it's rather good. You must be my guest for the night. It's been a long time since I last had visitors. A spot of dinner, a good night's rest. What do you say? Well, it is getting late. And Seren could do with a proper rest. It's settled then. I'll cook up a hearty bean broth and open an ale that'll take the hairs off your tongue. <laughs> Fear not, lad. Your aunt can have my bed tonight. I'll be happy on the floor. Mm, that should make you happy. Right, auntie? <sighs> Ecstatic. Not far now. Home's just up ahead. Hard to believe that this was once a thriving community, full of men, women, children, but then they started to leave. Many of the younger ones went to seek their fortunes and now be in cities. And the ones who stayed? Should have left while they had the chance. Hobbs? They left. Far worse than the likes of Hobbs. Ah, home sweet home. It's too dangerous to leave the horse outside. Drive into the barn, lad. Ooh. Ah, there. She should be quite safe and snug in here. You hear that, girl? Safe? 
and Snoke. <gasps> you all right? I'm fine. I just need some rest. I'll see you both in the morning. Come on, lad. Couple of chores and I'll get us some grub. The beer is strong and the night is long. Let's stoke the fire and sing this Stay song. here, Seren. Together we'll drink I won't be far away. away. <laughs> Helps keep the nasties away. Well, at least some of them. <laughs> and for the rest, I've got a few surprises in store. In case they decide to pay us a little visit. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, eh, lad? Watch for tripwires, lad. Lucky for you, that one's only attached to the alarm. Alarm? Well, bells on a string. Best I could do out here. Still. Saved my life a few times. Quite a few times, actually. I knew all of them by name. Gordon, the village brewer. Loved nothing more of an evening than warm beer and good conversation. <laughs> So gentle, so kind. The dead may not talk, but they're the only company I've had for a long time. Get that light for me, will you, lad? Just give it a good yank. I usually need it. That's better. Now we can see where we're going. Follow me. Sometimes Gordon and I would come up here with old Bessie. Old Bessie? Who's she? The only friend I've got left. Yes, we'd spend hours trying to shoot these things off. Not as easy as you think after a day in the woods and the brewery. <laughs> The most we ever knocked off was four. That was our record. Well, Gordon's. Think you're up to beating that lad? I'll give it a try. That's what I like to hear. Just watch out you don't hit that lamp over there. It's a little on the volatile side, if you know what I mean. <laughs> ha! Beginner's luck. Four! That equals the record! <laughs> Five! You did it, lad! You beat the record! <laughs> oh, of course, you can use magic. Imagine if Gordon had gauntlets like that. He probably would have burned down half the forest and singed off my beard. <laughs> Come on, lad! We better get moving. My stomach's rumbling so loudly they can probably hear it in Bowerstone. <laughs> Do you mind getting that light for me, lad? Not a bad one. Thank you, lad. Come on, let's keep moving. Remember the little surprise I told you about? You know, for unwelcome guests, my babies. My red, spiky, highly explosive babies. <laughs> All tucked up for the night. Well, there's my plans for a midnight swim ruined. <laughs> oh, tread carefully, lad. They're like sleepers. <laughs> Mind getting the gate? I think I may have done myself a mischief earlier. Back at that accursed hopcat. Good lad. <laughs> Get that light for me, will you, lad? Just give it a good yank. What are you doing out, my little clocklings? Blast! I must have forgotten to close the coop. My mind these days. It's not what it used to be. Sometimes I'll be in the middle of doing something and completely forget what... Allow me. Thank you, dear boy. Come on, old girls. Back in your coops. Can't have you running amok all night. 
With those gloves of yours, you should be able to get them tucked up for the night in no time. I'd better get these coops closed. Don't want my clucklings getting out again now, do we? Come up and let's get some soup on the stove. Don't know about you, but I've built up quite an appetite. I never knew delegating could be such hungry work. <laughs> One last light. Do you mind, lad? Not a bad one. That's all the lights lit. Thank you, my boy. <laughs> Come in, lad. Come in. Make yourself at home. I've lost count of how many nights I've sat here alone singing to the stars. <laughs> Of course. Wasn't always that way. My Peg. Beautiful, wasn't she? Yes. She was. At first they came in ones and twos. But then their number swelled. Balverines. One by one my people fell away until only we were left. My dear Peg and me. We were out collecting mushrooms. It was a beautiful day. They closed in around us. And I ran. I can still hear her screams. I've searched and searched, but... It stays with you, you know. To turn and run just when you need it the most. It's something you live with forever. Drink up, lad. It'll help you sleep. Take it from me. What's going on? They're back. Follow me. Saren! They're heading for the storage area. Let's go. Valverines, come on. Old Bessie's waiting for you. That's old Bessie. Beauty, isn't she? Where are you? Cut off! How are we gonna reach the barn now? Change your plan. Follow me, lad. Hang on, girl, I'm coming. Hurry, lad, we don't have much time. That barn will keep those Balverines out for long. Whoa! Watch out, man! Blast good! CG, <sighs> my boy! Now come on! Did I just kill that Balverine? Catelyn's never gonna believe me. Actually, he's never gonna believe any of this. In the trees! See them! Show them no mercy! Oh! That's the way, lad! <laughs> you have to find some way to slow them down. Come on! Show them no mercy! We have to get to Seren! He won't be bothering us again! Come on, lad. I'll take this path. You take that one. I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> Where did you come from? Come on, Gabriel, keep moving. Uh, Fergus! Ah! Look out! A little warning next time. And lose the element of surprise. <laughs> Fergus, look out! Get them off me, lad! Hold on! <laughs> Shoot them, lad! Thank you, lad. Keep going. This way, cut off.
Just a lot of Balveries. for you, Seren. That's the worst kind. Come on, we can take him. He's outnumbered. You were saying that. Good shooting, lad! this attack well you'll soon see more of them you can count on that they're the ones that came before but never so many one day they'll wipe us out for good it'll be morning soon we should get some rest while we still can very well Well, I suppose this is farewell. All we need now is directions to the temple, and we'll be on our way. What? What was that? The Devourer must have tracked us here. We need to get out of here now, all of us. I'll explain later. Yeah! Come on, girl! Yeah! This is gonna be rough. Hold on to your beard, Fergus. What's going on, lad? What is that shadow? I'll explain later. We have to get away. Hurry, lad. It's gaining.
sun is rising, but its light will not reach us in this valley. We must reach higher ground before the devourer catches us. Drive, Gabriel. Come on, Saren! Sunlight will save us now. Run, Saren, run! We have to reach the light! Keep going, Seven. We're almost out! The creature is holding back. What was that shadow? It's called the Devourer. It's after Teresa. To you, dear lady. Why? It's a long story, apparently. The creature will not give chase in daylight. That much we know. We are safe for now. Seven needs a rest. We all need a rest. I'll find somewhere for us to stop. You see, Seren? Even better than before.
I owe the two of you a debt of gratitude for saving my life. Again, do you still need someone to guide you to that temple? The journey will be dangerous. Then you'll need all the help you can get. You and the horse. You share a bond. How long have you had her? I was riding Seren before I could even walk. You've had to put up with me for all these years, haven't you, girl? Your wife, Peg. How long ago did the Balverines take her? Feels like a lifetime ago now. They dragged her off, just like the others. I never found any of them. Truth be told, I've all but lost hope of ever finding Peg's remains. But somehow, looking for her, well, it keeps me going. This forest has been swarming with hobs of late. They may have caught me once, but those hobs won't launch a surprise ambush again while I'm around. That's for sure. I'll deal with this lad! Over to you then, Gabriel. Don't worry, Saren, I'll keep us safe. You just keep us on the road. I'll hide these creatures back. overwhelm you.
the last of them. My head. Ooh. What's going on? Wait. Wait! The hops! Pull me towards them, lad! <laughs> Where are they? Oh, uh, Old Bessie here must have scared them off, hey, lad? Yes. No sooner did the creatures see you than they fled for their lives. Uh, how long have you and old Bessie been an item? A long time now. I won her in a game of tiddlywinks from a one-eyed man called Quincy. What happened to his eye? Apparently, he lost it in a game of marbles to a one-armed man called Morris. And his arm? Lost it in a game of hopscotch to a one-legged man called Hooper. We really could do this all day, couldn't we? <laughs> that we could, lad. That we could. Feels good to be back on the road. Been a long time since I had a proper drive through the forest. Me and Gordon used to take the wagon out for a cruise most Sundays. Back in the day. <laughs> Prickledown is just along here. Lovely little village. Had the most marvelous pub, the Amorous Haddock. You could drink all afternoon in there and still have change for a bag of smoked pig shavings. <laughs> Mind you, the ale was pretty silty. Of course, that was before the village went the same way as my own. Oh my, no, the village. Gabriel, the Hobbs. You're on your own for now, Saren. I have to take these guys out. That's for the amorous haddock. That's for 
the Amorous Hunters! We're clear. So much history. So many memories. Now just smoke in the wind. At least there was no one there. That's something to be thankful for. I don't know about you lot, but I can certainly do with a breather after all that fighting. What happened to this place? At least the tree's still standing. Fancy an apple, girl? At least I got you an apple, hey girl. Maybe we should find somewhere else to make camp. That was an impressive performance, lad. Defeating a troll all by yourself. Well, I've never heard such a thing outside of fables.
Peg used to love those crystals. Heat them up enough and they glow more brilliantly than anything you've ever seen. There used to be this peddler. Enormous hat, moustache you could hang your coat on. Used to sell fragments of these things when he passed through our village. Very expensive. More than the likes of me and Peg could ever afford. Justified his prices by claiming they're only found in Valverine invested lava field. Let's keep moving, eh, lad? Yes. This is starting to look quite familiar. I think we're on the right track. If we're where I think we are, the temple should be just around the corner. This place looks safer. Let's rest here.
Lost in your thoughts. I was thinking about my father. You wish you'd made your peace with him before he died. How do you... <sighs> I just wish I... Could have made him proud before he went. He hated that I loved fables, heroes. He never believed in any of it. He would believe if he could see you now. I told you, I'm not a hero. I'm just wearing magic gloves. I wasn't born with... Mystical powers like you. Perhaps it is hard to believe, but I was not born as I am now, either. Once I was a daughter. A sister. I knew nothing of the visions I would one day have. Then, little more than glimmers in my sleep. I only knew the simple pleasures of a child. The laughter of innocence. The joy of hiding in the fields with my brother. Until, one terrible day, they stormed our village without warning. Burning all before them. Led by a man. An abomination. Jack of Blades. My father fell first. By the time they reached me, I was already crying, watching as they dragged my mother away. It was the last thing I ever saw. They asked where my brother was, and I just stared at them. Jack put his blade to my eyes. A flash of light. And then, only darkness. For three days, I stumbled through the forest until, barely alive, I was found by a bandit king named Twinblade. I entered into his service and in return, he protected me. It was during that time that I learned to use my power and before long, I was protecting him. Bum, 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 bum. Ready to go to the temple? Gabriel, you must go without me. I would be a hindrance. Retrieve the willstone. When you return, I will honor my promise, and you will be free to go back to your people. All right, then. Finally, I found you. Uh, Fergus? My love. I've been looking for you for so long. Fergus! Come on!
a team. The temple is over there, lad. Do what you must. I'm gonna give my peg the burial she deserves. Be careful. There may be more of them. I'm counting on it. If I can just get these orbs to reach the glowing rooms, the door should open. Isn't that the kid from the spirit chambers? Quick, lock the place down. How's he supposed to be tested if you leave all the doors open? Who... Who are you? Are you part of the Enlightened? Uh-oh. You didn't get that door fixed, did you, Bob? Quick, go on and jam it. How am I supposed to do that? I don't have any arms. I don't know. Improvise. Don't worry, Finley. This first test will show us what he's made of. I hit the flip switch. <laughs> yeah, Bob. Look, he doesn't know it's hidden or anything. Now, where's that flip switch? I. There it is. Nice one, Bob. Just because he found it doesn't mean he knows what to do with it. You should know all about that, Finley. Didn't he do well? The moment I saw this boy, I said to myself, Bob, there's something special about this one. Let's not get carried away. He still has to find his way out of this room. True, true. Let's see if he finds the ladder. <laughs> Need to get that ladder down. How's the boy supposed to be tested if you keep spelling things out for him all the time? You're spoiling him. Sorry, I just get excited sometimes. 
been a long time since someone got me excited. You can hardly blame me. I blame you for everything. Looks like my only option. Oh well, here goes. See? Told you he was good. All right, all right. You'll give the boy a big head if you ain't careful. Anyway, those panels will slow him down. You wait and see if you don't. Well, uh, apart from that one. Another cog. Guess I need to activate this one, too. I wonder how long they spent hiding these things. See about getting across that bridge. I think it's been too easy for him so far. Now he's inside proper. The Forge of Fire will really test his mettle. We'll soon see if he's worthy of getting out Will still. He's doing so well. Let's give him a round of applause. Finley, something's wrong with my arms. What am I going to do with you? Centuries have been a disembodied soul, and you still haven't got the hang of it. It's a subtle art. Subtle? What's so subtle about it? There's nothing to it, literally. Well, we can't all be as wonderful as you, Finley. A rock, mate. That's right, run away! And to think a couple of days ago, that thing would have scared the hell out of me. Looks like the rest of the family's turned up. He needs to reach the next trial. Well, you could at least say please. No! All right. <laughs> that glowy thing was right. This place is infested. Well, nicer than anything you've called me in a while. Anyhow, at least he's getting rid of these terrible bugs for us. Nice to have a man around the place that's good with his hands. Just like Philip used to be. Uh, I thought we agreed never to mention him again. Looks like the only way is up.
I'm guessing that mechanism works the lift. That's better. This your floor? I think he'll struggle with this next trial. Wanna bet? Sure. If I win, you can't talk for the next 6,000 years. If you win, you can talk for six minutes. That doesn't seem very fair. Fair? I'll tell you what isn't fair. Failing the enlightened senior overseer's exam by 1%. One complete percent! All because someone kept me up all night with their snoring and then getting stuck in with you for all eternity. <laughs> to fire at those flit switches to activate them. Don't tell him the answer. Oh, that's it. All bets are off. Null and void. Can I still have six minutes of talking? See? Told you he'd figure it out. He's not a child, Bob. I'm sure he could have worked it out for himself. You're so controlling. Just like your mother. You leave Mummy out of this! Hey, Finley, how about a nice game of I Spy? Again? Oh, go on, it'll be fun! I Spy with my little eye, something beginning with W. Whoa. How did you know? Because it's always bleeding wall. It's been wall for hundreds of years. Every time we play I Spy, it's wall. I just said there was nothing in for you today. You usually love I Spy.
All right, Gabriel, you know the drill. Step forward. Step forward. Who are you? I am Blaze, hero of fire. I was one of the three who gave their lives so that Albion could live on. A darkness held back millennia ago has returned to consume this land. Each day its shadow spreads further. The time of its coming grows near. What is it? What's coming? Great is the evil that approaches. If it cannot be held back, all that you know will cease to be. Reach into the pool. to get those braziers lit. You've unlocked the fireball spell. This is a powerful attack that will damage multiple targets. It can also be aftertouched to create several smaller fireballs. To charge a fireball, raise your right hand and wave it from side to side. You can also charge the spell by raising your hand and saying fireball. Let's see what this willstone can do. Locked. I have to find another way out. Rock mites again! Mm, there's gas coming from those vents.
Here come those rock mites again! Uh-oh, more rock mites. Very handy with those gloves, isn't he? They're not gloves. They're gauntlets. Well, what's the difference? I think you'll find that a gauntlet has an extended cuff. Gloves do not. Mm, listen to you. I didn't know you knew so much about fashion. There's plenty you don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> Constantly mollycoddling him, encouraging him all the time. That's what we're here for, to oversee and encourage. Oh, I always wondered why they stuck us here. I thought it was some kind of punishment. Oh, very funny. You think you're the only one who finds this job hard? What about me? I've given you the best centuries of my life, stuck in this place with just you for company, forced to watch you slowly turn into your father. I mean, I thought he was a miserable old git, but compared to you...
Only one of us is getting out of here alive. And it's not going to be you. Almost out. Just need to get this door open. Bob? Finley? Thanks for all your help. You're welcome. Uh, yes, very welcome. She always loved these white ones. Very rare. Whenever she found one, she'd make me stop and pick it up. She'd write little notes on each one. Where we were going what we were doing when we found it. She called them her memory stones. Rest well, my darling. The shadow! It's back! We must get away, or we'll all be buried here! <laughs> aren't hurting it at all. There must be another way. The crystals. Maybe I could use them to create more light. It works! crystals over those vents.
Time for me to remove the gauntlets. No. Where do we find the next Willstone? I can't believe he's gone. The end will come for us all one day. The Devourer was only a warning of what is to come. Sent by the Corruptor to pave the way for his arrival. The Corruptor? A dark entity. Evil, twisted, and powerful without equal. You have seen him already. The Pool of Sight. Long has the Corruptor sought a way to break through into this world. After millennia of searching, he has finally found one. He has sent his lieutenants to remove any who can resist his return. Lieutenants? The Devourer was the first, but there is another. A foul serpent, the Temptress. We must remain vigilant. The Corruptor? He's tried entering this world before, hasn't he? The three heroes, he was the evil they stopped. You are astute, Gabriel. On that occasion, the Corruptor sent forth only a single lieutenant. But the heroes were able to seal it beneath the earth, where it lay dormant for many centuries. If we do not find the remaining willstones, 
and reached the spire in time to seal the rift before the Corruptor's emergence. All our efforts will have been in vain. And we have no time to lose. Somewhere in Myrmore stands a henge. Beneath it lies a temple of the Enlightened. It contains another of the willstones we seek. Oh, seems like it's always raining. All that's happened, everything that's been destroyed, what's it all for? What does the Corruptor want? To reclaim something he believes was taken from him long ago, at the height of the Old Kingdom. The Corruptor was once a man, or rather, part of a man. His name was William Black, the first and perhaps the greatest hero Albion has ever known. But how could it... he... be a hero? Long ago, William saved Albion from enslavement and was crowned its ruler. But his victory came at a great cost, for he suffered a terrible wound to his soul. As Albion prospered, William slowly wasted away, his spirit twisted by a festering darkness. Realizing what would become of Albion if he let himself be consumed, he gave up the crown and traveled to the void. There he cut the corruption from within him, sealing it away forever. Or so he had hoped. For the evil he cleaved from himself lived on. Angry and powerful. It is bent on one goal. To return to our world and reclaim the throne denied him by William's sacrifice. And Black? What happened to him? He was never seen again. At least not in any form that those who knew him would recognize. This place is so depressing. It was not always so. A great city once stood here, founded by a group of heroes.
What happened to the people who lived here? Tired of the sacrifices of their work, these champions decided to begin new lives. By channeling will into the barren waste, they made the soil fertile and were soon harvesting abundant crops. However, the foundations they had laid were weak. The very land they thought would support their city instead consumed it. Hobbs, seems this place isn't as deserted as it looks. Girl. Those creatures must have ventured far indeed from their homes. Maybe they're just passing through. Perhaps. But passing through to where? out, girl.
You see, Saren? Even better than before. That? A colors gate, built in the age of the old kingdom. Once it was able to transport people over great distances. Few still remain that are active. What was that? Over there, something like a firefly. Wisps, restless souls that have roamed these moors for centuries. All these abandoned buildings. You said the city was built by heroes. Why weren't they more careful? History is replete with great plans set in motion without forethought. As you can see, choosing the easiest path is rarely a choice that leads to success. Tell me more about this temple we're looking for. The willstone within it contains the power of the great hero Stone, a warrior of matchless character and great prowess. Sounds like he was a great hero. Yes, she was. One of the greatest that ever lived. Her descendants were many, a proud lineage of champions whose names will live on forever. One of them, Hammer, once helped me overthrow a tyrant. Where's Hammer now? Long past, along with the rest of the hero blood. I'll just be a minute.
How is he getting everywhere so fast? You again? We were thinking the same thing about you. Perhaps your mind reading powers are improving. Listen, lady. I don't know what tricks you were playing the other day, but I don't like it. It's corporate sabotage, that's what it is. What happened? Been stealing your customers, have I? Hmm? I know a fraud when I see one, and you're it, lady. Maybe Benny the Magnificent should reveal some truths about you. I'm all ears. Yes, I see it now. You carry a great wound. Go on. Your husband ran away with your sister. I don't have a sister. Well, then he ran away without her, and... He took your most prized possession. A hairbrush shaped like a comb. Remarkably accurate. Really? No. How do I know you're not lying? I thought you were psychic. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're good. That is one explanation. I think that would be best for us all. Drive on. I'm starting to feel sorry for him. He should have seen it coming. Oh, very funny. Steer around them, Gabriel. You hear that, Seren? Apparently we need to avoid these exploding barrels, and there was me thinking we should drive over them. I thought you were... Knowing our look, this place is probably crawling with those things. Well, he's clearly pleased to see us. It seems this gate can only be opened from up there. Let me guess, you want me to scout ahead, find a way through? You learn quickly, Gabriel. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> Don't go anywhere now. There must be a way to get up to the gate controls. A welcoming party for me. You shouldn't have. 
The Hobbs must have been really bored to set all this up. I wonder if they fight each other in here when there aren't any travellers to trap. find a way back to the surface. I really hope this is the way out.
Time to get that gate open. Getting worse, isn't it? I'm fine. Drive on, Gabriel. We have nearly reached the temple. So what exactly are we going to do at this henge? You will have to align the stones to gain entry into the Enlightened Temple. All right. But first, I need to tend to Seren. I've been neglecting you, haven't I, girl? Here it is. A henge of stones. Hey, Stonehenge, that'd be a good name for it. What girl? Don't be foolish. Stonehenge? I never thought we'd get this far, girl. I have to leave you for a while. I have to go to another temple. You'll be all right here with Teresa.
Admiring the view. <laughs> My moor holds many memories. I first passed this way long ago. The first step on a great journey that would set off a chain of events not even I could foresee. The thirst for revenge that had burned within me after my family's murder remained unquenched, even after Jack of Blade's death. Searching for answers, I wandered into the wilderness where I met many people. Some gave me shelter and food with no thought of payment or thanks. Others had less charitable intentions for which they would pay with their lives. And so it came to pass that my travels took me east to Samarkand, where for centuries I studied in the great libraries. It was there that I learned of the first spire, of the power it granted Albion's rulers, how it destroyed the old kingdom. Finally, I thought I had discovered a way to find the peace that had eluded me for so long. If I could find a way to rebuild the spire, I could harness its powers to rid Albion of evil and prevent any from suffering my fate again. Little did I realize the cost of my actions. Come. It's time for you to go to the temple. Within the temple lies a willstone. You must enter and retrieve it. We will need its power if you're to defeat the corruptor. You really think we have a chance? How do we succeed, Gabriel? We believe. The challenges that lie ahead, you must face alone. Before you enter, know this. The restless spirits that roam these moors reanimate the dead as murderous creatures called hollow men. So apart from willstone trials, restless spirits and reanimated undead killers, it's pretty safe, right? Correct. Well, that's comforting. All right. Here goes. Well, this is clearly the way in. But how am I supposed to open the door? It must have something to do with these rocks. I wish Teresa was here. She'd know what to do. Come on, Gabriel. You can work this out. How hard can it be? Dank. What is this place? Actually, I don't want to know. Yeah, I forget I said anything. The less I know about this place, the better. Quickest way in and out. I could do with knowing that. All the other bits I'll read about someday. Whoa! Bet you lot know everything about this place. them all. Apart from the thousands I'll probably meet later.
bottomless pit. I wonder if the terror wears off once you've been falling for a couple of weeks. If I can just get these orbs to reach the glowing rooms, the door should open. There'd be more of you. Those planks are holding up the ceiling. Uh oh, not good. be a way to bridge this. Stone, do you? Well, follow me. I shall be your guide. <laughs> oh, no. Stop! Stop! It's too dangerous. No, you must turn back. No. Oh. <laughs> Make your mind up. Nothing here you can't handle. It's not mine. They'll kill you. Let's see how you deal with this! 
Take care, you are injured. So bad? No, indeed. I told you you'd be alright. I can't believe you're alive. Oh, I, I knew you'd be fine though. Catch your breath. Hurry up. Untested, but it can't be helped. Follow. How is it you came to be the guide here? How dare you inquire? I don't mind answering. I, I was chosen for my steadfast character and my dependable disposition. Oh. Danger is now behind you. That's not a metaphor. Look!
this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Come on then, where are you? Slip my mind. I, I, I have absolutely no idea what's in there. <laughs> well, you, you'll find out shortly. As I'm guessing, you're going to open it.
You've done it! Against all odds! You were lucky! Thanks. I'm not grateful at all. Welcome, Welcome to my final resting place, hero. I am a stone, hero of the fallen. Within the pool lies the power to wield the magical blades that aided me in my quest for justice. Plunge your hands into the pool. Take it is done. My powers are now yours. Use them well. You have my word. Go forth. Find the final will stone. Unite our powers like we did so many centuries ago. The Willstone? Where is it? Where do I find it? Echo Hills. To charge the spell, pull your right hand back over your shoulder like you're throwing a spear. You can also summon the spell by raising your hand and saying, Magic Shards.
Shards can also be used to hit multiple targets. After casting the spell normally, draw a path with your hand to send a barrage toward any enemies you choose. You did well to come through the trials. I trust Stone enlightened you as to the location of the final temple. She said it was in Echo Hills. If we are to reach it, we must cross the river Ironwash. There is a ferry we can use a little under two days' ride from here. I've already tried crossing that river once. Hopefully this time it'll go a bit more smoothly. You. That's what Catelyn would be saying now, right, Zeren? You think a great deal of this, Catelyn. We grew up together. We were best friends. Now he's the head of my convoy. He wouldn't be hanging around listening to fortune tellers, that's for sure. See in the future? What a load of rubbish. Is there any fairy tale you don't believe in? <laughs> By the way, you were right about those hollow men. It is comforting to know that my powers haven't completely deserted me. Those poor people. Look out! Look! Ah! Are you all right? I'm so sorry. I just didn't see you. They're dead. They're all dead. Who's dead? I think some got away like me, but I, I can't find anyone. I'm all alone. Oh. <laughs> You're safe with us. Really? Oh. Come on. <laughs> oh. It's all right. Come on. Thank you. Pick it up, girl. Come on. What happened to you? We were 50. A convoy heading across the river. Who did this? <laughs> Hops. An ambush. They killed our escort and then they turned on us. They wouldn't stop. Were there any other survivors? Some of us ran, but I don't know if anyone else survived. It all happened so fast. My father, he, he told me to run, to get across the river, to get to the lands beyond Northwood Fort, and that he'd meet me in one of the settlements there. What's your name? Elizabeth. But people call me Betty. But don't worry, Betty. We'll get you across the river. We'll find your father. You're very kind. Oh, thank you. I'm Gabriel, by the way. 
pleasure to meet you, Gabriel. Tell me, why were your people trying to cross the river? Same reasons as everyone else. People have been moving away from the moorlands for years now, more and more each season. Most of my friends moved to the cities and said they wanted to make a better life for themselves in the great Reaver factories. I doubt any have ever made better lives for themselves working for Reaver. Mm. I always heard he was a great man. If you call such debauched waste greatness... There's no jobs here anymore. No money, no safety. We tried to stay, but there are too few of us. Travellers at Passesway said that the land to the south is still safe. That's where we were going until... My people were going south too. You were separated from your people too? Four days ago. Although it feels like much longer than that. later. Deal with them, Gabriel. Drive Saren on and deal with these beasts. Push 
forward. Do not let these creatures slow us down. Gauntlets. What's the difference? Gauntlets have extended cuffs. Gloves don't, apparently. How oh, very interesting. Gabriel, we must be on the lookout for more of these creatures. They could come under attack at any moment. Even better than before. Honey Home Farm. Such a tragedy. I knew it well. Their honey was renowned for its remarkable healing properties. My Uncle Kevin tried to use it once to grow back a finger he bit off while eating a cream cake. What happened? He bit off another finger while eating the honey. It's such a shame he had to close down after the crossbreeding fiasco. Crossbreeding fiasco? Ah! <laughs> Stay here. I'll handle this.
Why am I not surprised to see them here? Everywhere I go, there's always hot. Join the party! There's honey for everyone! I'm still trying to work that out myself. Gabriel, we cannot delay. There could be more of these hubs out there. Pick it up, girl. Come on, girl. That's it. I've never seen real magic before. I only read about it in books. You read a lot, do you? Your father, is he armed? Poor thing. He wouldn't know a sword from a stick. The most dangerous thing he's ever done is castrate a goat. We'll be across the river soon. I'm sure he'll be there waiting for you. You'll see. Not good.
I used to call this place Junecrest, when there was anyone here to call it anything. My father always made me come here to sell goods from our farm. There was a boy, Tom, worked at the shop here. <laughs> Sweet lad. Said he'd take me to Bowerstone one day, get away from all this. What happened to him? One day when I came here, he was gone, like all the rest of them. Probably found some city floozy with fresher goods. Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. It's getting so you can't trust anyone on the moors these days. Well, you can trust me. Looks like it'll be getting dark soon. Surely it's too early. Night's been coming on earlier for months now. Even though it's not the season for it, the old ones have been saying it's a warning of impending doom. Hobbs, hollow men, giant great big waspy things. Never used to be like this on the moors. We're making good time. We should reach the crossing by tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening? There's a new bridge no more than half a day's ride from here. The ferry is the only crossing I know of. Just take the next turn towards Stonehaven and we'll be there quicker than a goat can cry wolf. Betty, are you sure this is a shortcut? How many hours have we been driving for now? Only seven. That's not too many hours, considering a day. We need to find somewhere to stop. Well, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Only, I've heard this place is kind of haunted. You led us on a non-shortcut through a haunted moor. I'm so sorry, Gabriel. I was only trying to help. I didn't want it to be like this. They always told us stories about this place, but I never thought they'd be real. It's all right. You meant well. We'll find a way through. I can tell you the stories, if it helps. Apparently, it used to be easy to cross the fen until the great beacon was extinguished. The light guarded the road and kept out the undead. 
No one knows why it went out, only that the watchmen who are supposed to keep it alight are doomed to repeat their failure every night. Great time, Tibbles. Best seat in the house. Women love a man stuck up a tower in the middle of a swamp. You'll be dodging pairs of knickers all night. I don't care what Mugsworth says. This watchtower is not the heart and soul of the party. He just wanted me out the way so he'd win the dance off. Who goes there? Oh, great costumes. Those are the best Holloman outfits I've seen all night. Is that actually rotten flesh? Inspired. Still, no entry to the party without a ticket. Although, with costumes like that, no one's gonna give a monkeys about monks with cha-cha-cha. I think it'll be all right after all, boys. Head on in. Look at the medals for this. Old Bugsy will be furious. <laughs> before you're very brave I'm so glad you're here to look after me We're supposed to guard. Then where are they all? You'll keep us safe, won't you, Gabriel? I'll do everything I can. What's wrong, girl? Magsworth? Sir? Corporal, would you say you are well-versed in military strategy and history? Uh, no, sir, Captain Flower, sir. Have you read the great works, Never Surrender the Biscuits? Das Plimsoll? The Art of Giving a Blighter a Bloody Good Poke with a Stick? No, sir. Then why, pray tell, did you see fit to organize this surprise party without involving your commanding officer? <laughs> a delightful evening of cake and dancing does not just happen, Corporal. It takes great operational finesse. It is most important to have a strong but flexible core to your buffet table. But you put the bread pudding in the center and squandered the tactical advantage by wasting the sausage rolls out of the left flank. And what have you got for reserves? Scotch eggs! This employment will never survive first contact! Do you hear that? He's coming, sir! Don't just stand there like a bally lemon. Quick, get to cover! Second platoon, commence surprise in three, two, one. Up.
gate's closed! We're safe!
Blubbering son of a chicken! How do you think Nodsey and Mugsworth will feel if they find out the surprise party they spent weeks planning for you is no longer a surprise? A good soldier is always sensitive to the emotional needs of his fellow men at arms. Do you want to be haunted by the look of disappointment on their poor little faces each time you close your eyes? Do you? No, sir, Sergeant Pullman, sir. Will then? You better start practicing your astonishment, eh? Now turn that light out. Doesn't the light keep out the hollow I don't sir. care if it keeps out the bleeding shadow court, Private. Have you ever seen a surprise party that started with the lights on? I thought not. For a convincing performance, we must replicate the conditions of the party. If you say so, Sarge. Here goes. <coughs> Well, blow me down. I never would have guessed. You called that amazement, you snivelling little hot botherer! Again, Watkins! And this time, with feeling! All right. How about... <laughs> There's more like it, Watkins. Let me hear it once more and... We never thought about lights in the making before. Holman, you idiots! If you wanted to practice being in the dark, you would have just closed your eyes! This is finally starting to make sense. Well, not exactly sense. How many times you lose the top of your noggin, it still doesn't have sting. I got 
a good feeling about tonight. Not like the other 38,921 nights. Tonight feels lucky. All they need to do now is light this beacon. Well, I'll be. The beacon is back on. My master plan of doing exactly the same thing every night for eternity has finally paid off. Apparently. Was that the plan, sir? I thought that was a curse. Or were they coincidentally the same? Oh, shut up, Mugsworth. Oh, very good, sir. Either way, it looks like we're finally rid of that dratted curse. And on my birthday, too. It's always your birthday, Watkins. That's the bloody point. Well, what happens now? I would venture that, with our vital duty fulfilled, will be granted our eternal rest. Can I still have my cake? Shut up, Watkins. Company, prepare to move to another plane in three, two, one. <laughs> well, that was one of the most bizarre experiences of my life. Thanks to you, the souls of those watchmen will finally be able to rest in peace. We must cross the river and head for the lands beyond Northwood Fort. If you follow this road, it'll take you straight to the bridge. It's not far now. I'll be glad to get across this river, finally. There it is. They say the bridge is very reliable. Apparently, it's only floated away four times. When was it built? Oh, ages ago. I'd say mm, two, maybe three weeks ago. Well, that's reassuring. Hello? We need to get across the river. Yeah, it'll cost you. Bridge don't run itself. It's a skilled operator. To do what? Raise the barrier. And what do you charge for that operation? Read the song. It's right here in black and white. It really is a matter of great urgency. I don't care if the fate of the old bleeding world hangs in the balance, love. That's a shame. I was going to use that for our next argument. Right, so one cart, that's four coins. Oh, no, 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 no. Four coins for the cot, two for the nag, one for you, Fluffy, one for your mum, and <laughs> one for the girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. Nine coins? That's daylight robbery. You could just blast the barrier with those magic gauntlets of yours. Now, now did your cart weigh more than 20... Uh, heck! Oi! Oi! Where are you going? Come back! Where's me money? Oi! Oi! Here! That was amazing! I shouldn't have done that. I don't know what came over me. Don't worry, Gabriel. You were amazing. So powerful. Feels like home. Hey, girl. I don't suppose we'll be stopping for a while yet, though. There's a lot more road ahead of us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> My toughest foes yet. <laughs> Come on, Gabriel, you can do it. Concentrate.
over there, on the bridge. <laughs> Hobbs, here. Don't worry, Betty. I'm sure it's just a scouting party. Now we're across the river, we'll be at Northwood Fort soon. Then we'll look for your father in the settlement beyond. I do hope he's all right. I'm sure he's worrying about you too. That'll make a nice change. Usually he just worries about telling me what to do, how to live my life, or how not to live it. I know how that feels. find him. I suppose you'll be going back to your people. I've got a few things to take care of first. Well, I'm sure they miss a brave man like you in these dark times. Mines. The Hobbs must have placed them here. decided to pack in the fortune telling game. Yep, it's a life of catricology for me. That's what I should be doing. I know that now. It's a shame. For a while there, I really thought I could be a psychic. 
guess I just wasn't cut out for it. Hey, how about one more reading? For old time's sake. Well, all right. Although I really don't see the point. Uh, here goes. You're on a quest. A very important one. To stop something evil that's been trapped a long time. Evil that, if it gets out, will spell the end of the world as we know it. But what do I know, right? Anyway, I'd best be going. Loads of balding cats out there need my help. Cheerio! Did you hear what you said? Even charlatans can get lucky once in a while. Make enough predictions, it's inevitable. Well, I learned something too today. That fate is not always as it seems. No, the word trichology. Here they come again. Eliminate them, Gabriel. Whatever did this was not of this world. Well, Seven, we always dreamed of storming a castle. Hang on! Saren can't go on much longer. She's exhausted. We must put some distance between us and Northwood before we stop. Those Hobbs may come looking for those responsible for their brethren's deaths. Keep going, girl. Just a little longer. You can do it, Saren. Those Hobbs were loitering here. No doubt looting anything that remains. Whatever force overran this place appears to have departed. How is this possible? I always heard Northwood was impregnable. Albion's defenses are crumbling. Don't worry. I'm sure your father's safe. We'll search the villages beyond the fort, and you'll be back with him before you know it. We can 
take shelter up there in that old watchtower. If anything tries to creep up on us, we'll see it coming. Come on, girl, nearly there. Then you can rest. Better now. Don't worry. We'll find him. I'm sure we will. Are you close to your father? He'd say he wants the best for me. Sometimes I think he just wants me to be him. His father worked on the moors, he works on the moors. I work on the moors. Do you know what it's like to live like that? To have your whole future mapped out for you? More than you know. I don't want my life to be inevitable. I want it to be exciting. <laughs> it can be both. Trust me. It, it's funny how life is. How you can suddenly see things so differently to how you thought they were. <laughs> How everything can change in an instant. <laughs> oh, uh... oh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't be. <clears throat> Need more firewood. I'll go.
We leave at first light. We cannot afford any distractions. Do you think she's all right? She's been gone a long time. I'm sure she's fine. She's really different. <laughs> Where is it, girl? <coughs> Betty! <coughs> Betty! Something's got her! Think, Gabriel. Why would something take her unless it meant to lure us into a trap? We have to go after her. Hold on! We're coming! Not since the Devourer's pursuit have I sent such an evil. The Temptress! If it is she, then my powers have become diminished indeed, not to have sensed her approach. But why would she take Betty? The darkest evils are the ones that threaten what we hold dearest, what we love. We can't let her get away! We can't let her hurt Betty! Betty! Hold on! We're coming! Must be cautious. I dealt with the devourer. I'll deal with this thing too. The temptress is a cunning foe, Gabriel. Might alone will not be enough to defeat her. What do you mean? What is she? The Corruptor's Bride, an abomination. Once she was an agent for good, her beauty would make even the darkest hearts yield and turn away from evil. But her soul was darkened by the Corruptor, her mind poisoned by promises of power and glory. She doesn't look very beautiful to me. Remember, Gabriel, the darkest powers can take many forms. How is it that you know which path to follow? I don't know, I just... I just know! It's like I can feel it! Come on, Seren! We can't let them get away! What is that place? The prison! The final enlightened temple! This is unexpected indeed. Why would that thing bring us here? <laughs> hurry, Seren, hurry! My hero. Are you hurt? The darkness is here. Gabriel, it must have led us here for a reason. Inside. The Willstone. It must want the Willstone. Where are you? Right, Gabriel. Get ready. Just need to clear a way through first. Here goes. Is this? Just need to get the willstone and get out of here. That did the trick. Looks like I've got a couple of options here. Better press on. How am I going to get the light from that window onto the door? This place is unbelievable. I don't think I could even have dreamed of this a few days ago.
Looks like I might be able to rotate that mirror. Got it! The pool! I have to get over there. Something's pulled this place apart. It's like a giant jigsaw. That's better. Maybe now I'll be able to pull this place back into shape. Nearly there now. I hope the willstone is still alright. The tree! I'll never be able to get the willstone with it like that. The light won't reach the corruption. I need to get those mirrors closer to the pool, otherwise I'll never burn off that corruption. I've got to find more light. me to see you here, one pure of heart, the last in Albion, worthy of our powers. This once great land, this Albion, has grown weak. It stands before the precipice, its people blinded by greed and ignorance. Take my power, the power of light itself. It is done. Our strength is yours. You are ready. Go now. Make haste to the spire. For the hour of his arrival draws near. Your push and drag spells have been imbued with the power of light. To cast, bring your left hand back to your shoulder and thrust it forward as you would to cast push. The light spell burns away corruption, removing it from your path. It can also be used to charge up crystals, causing them to emit a brilliant flash of light. Well, Gabriel, you heard the man. Better get moving. Let's see what's behind here. Wow! Oh well, here goes. Where am I? I have to get back to Betty. Who knows where that creature's got to by now? How am I going to get out of this place? There has to be a way out somewhere. 
More corruption. That thing must be around it. The light spell can burn away corruption from your enemies, but does not deal any direct damage. Corrupted enemies cannot be hurt until the corruption has been burned off them.
think I'm getting the hang of this. Let's see where this leads. How did it... No time to worry about that. Just gotta get back to the others and get out of here. Gabriel, what happened? It's safe. You have done well. You are one step closer to defeating the Corruptor. And what of the creature? Gabriel? I'm here. Did you find the Wilster? How do you know about that? What's wrong? Theresa? She's here! Lord, you brought me, my hero. How is this possible? How could you hide from me? Don't you feel it, here? Don't you feel the corruption poisoning your soul? Stripping you of all you are? Now you are truly blind. You have failed. How did it get here? The gauntlets? Where are they? What's the matter, my love? The road to Reaver's Reach. Yeah. Isn't it lovely here? The views are so beautiful. I love how the mountains look this time of year. I have to stop. I need to take a break. This is just too weird. This isn't real. It can't be.
She really liked me. <laughs> she fooled us both. I really thought we had a connection. But she was just tricking me the whole time. I thought I was losing my mind. Maybe I did. How did I not see what she was doing? <laughs> Good as new. Thank <laughs> you. 
Betty. The temptress. I let my feelings put us in danger. It is easy to be driven by our emotions, Gabriel. I didn't mean for things to happen like this. What we intend is rarely what comes to pass. This I know better than most. What do you mean? What I am about to tell you has never before passed my lips. It is a burden I have carried for many years. Studying in Samarkand, I learned much about the Spire. I thought I had learned all there was to know. It was then that I returned to Albion to set my plan in motion, to influence those with the means to rebuild the Spire and use it to rid Albion of evil, the same evil that had blinded me. When one morning the Mayor of Bowerstone, Lucian Fairfax, awoke to find his wife and child dead, the board was set. Through my influence, Lucian gained the knowledge I had gathered in Samarkand. Soon he became convinced his family could be returned to him if the spire were rebuilt. But the grief of his loss had darkened his heart, and a new, more sinister plan grew within him. For Lucian planned to use the spire's power to destroy Albion and replace it with something unrecognizable. But if my vision to rid Albion of evil were to be fulfilled, I would have to take the spire for my own. Lucian needed heroes to complete the spire, and I needed one to seize it. I found our hero on the streets of Bowerstone, a child named Sparrow with a sister, Rose. They wanted nothing more than a better life. When the two were summoned to Castle Fairfax, what Rose received instead was death. It was that tragedy that drove Sparrow to destroy Lucian, and finally, the spire came under my control. But as I stood atop the tower, I realized the true cost of my plan, and for the first time since that fateful day in Oakvale, tears ran from my eyes. But the direst consequences of my actions were yet to be revealed. All those people, all that death, you were responsible. How could you do it? Gabriel, I will always bear the burden of the lives that were lost. Rose, Lucian's family, the slaves of the Spire. But their deaths have taught me one truth. Without sacrifice, there can be no victory. You're wrong. There's always another way. I only wish there were. The final part of our journey is upon us, but our greatest challenge still lies ahead. If we are to reach the Spire, we must find our way through Deep Gorge and Kraken's Jaw Beach. I only hope we have enough time. If we do not seal the rift before the Corruptor enters this world, nothing, no one, will be able to stop him. I still can't believe she fooled me like that. You did the right thing, Gabriel. You aided a stranger in need, with no thought for yourself. You could not have foreseen where your actions would lead. No, I couldn't. If the way ahead was always clear, many things would be different. I am fading, Gabriel. With each passing hour, the wound the Devourer dealt me tightens its grip upon my soul. It is taking all of my strength to fight it. Don't worry. After this is over, we'll find a way to heal you. Yes. After it is over.
we will be nearing Deep Gorge soon. I fear the Corruptor's agents will be awaiting us there, in great numbers. That means he's afraid of us. It is often when an adversary is most threatened that he is most dangerous. Sent ahead by the Corruptor. Use the light. Burn away these creatures. Keep it steady, Seren. I'll take care of them. This attack is merely the first flash of a great storm that lies ahead of us. Destroy them all. Fight, Gabriel, for we are all that stands between Albion and the Dark. Do not falter, Gabriel. Albion needs your strength. Fight harder, Gabriel. We have come too far to fail now. Their numbers are dwindling. They cannot withstand this onslaught. Finish them. was the last of them. Whoa there, girl! Whoa! They're gone! We're safe! <laughs> For now. The Corruptor's influence has poisoned the minds of Albion's beasts, driving them to seek any who oppose his coming. So that they've been hunting us down, the hogs, the battle. Yes, they are drawn to the Spire by his power, eager to do his bidding. He's gathering his army. Oh no, girl. There's no other way. Looks like I was right, girl. That storm was coming from the spire. Feels like we've come a long way just to see it again. Before they built the Great Bridge, we used to come this way every summer on the journey to Shale Fields. You remember these roads, don't you, girl? After this is over, we'll go back there, you and me. We'll rejoin the tribe, start over, make it right this time. No more riding at the back of the convoy.
Another caravan ambushed. Steady, girl. It's all right. What is it, girl? Wait, are those? No, they can't be. They should have been miles away from here. Gabriel? Those carts, they're from my convoy. We have to get down there now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened here? Catlin! Daniel! Where are they all? Catlin. Catlin! <coughs> Gabriel. Late again. Unbelievable. <laughs> what happened? Where is everyone? We were ambushed. Alvarines. They were shrouded in darkness. Quicker, deadly than I've ever seen before. We tried to hold them, but they picked us off one by one. The men. Horses. And the women? The children? You need to get out of here. We had 20 men, trained and armed and with... Get back. Don't move. I'll take care of this. Gabriel, stop. You've got no chance. Trust me. I'll tell you apart. Gabriel! Die! Die! Every last one of you! I'll kill you all! You'll all pay! All of you will pay! Ah! They were innocent! You butchered them! Oh, I'll kill every last one of you! Thank <laughs> you. 
Lie still. I can heal you. Gabriel. You were right. Magic. Heroes. They do exist. Uh, no. No. He made his peace with you. That is what Catelyn wanted. When I dreamed of being a hero, there was no such thing as fear. No such thing as loss. This time tomorrow, it'll all be over. One way or the other. The Corrupter. It'll be even more powerful than the Devourer and the Temptress, won't he? Centuries ago, the three heroes sat consumed by doubt, just as you are now. At least they weren't alone. You are not alone, Gabriel. How did it come to all this?
The way all such things come to pass. Through ambition, greed, and ignorance. At the height of the Old Kingdom, the first spire, a conduit for all Albion's will, created a tear in the fabric between this world and the Void. Through this, the Corrupter began to channel his influence. Fearful of this growing threat, three great heroes, Soul, Blaze, and Stone, set out to close the rift. Little did they know what fate awaited them. On the eve of the Corrupter's emergence, they channeled their powers into the Void. But the force required to seal the rift was so great, it shattered the spire. The explosion devastated the Old Kingdom and crystallized the three heroes into willstones, scattering them across the land. Centuries passed, and slowly Albion recovered. In time, the willstones were found and preserved by the Enlightened. Their leader, a great seer, had foreseen a time when the age of heroes would fail, when none would remain to prevent the corrupt from entering this world. Many believed the Spire's destruction had been caused by the First Wish. It was not until the rebuilt Spire became mine that I gained the power to see the truth. The Spire would again allow the Corruptor into our world. My attempts to remove evil from Albion had unleashed the darkest power of them all. For the last century, the Corruptor's influence has spilled from the Void, corrupting hearts and minds, an awakening long forgotten night. I made grave mistakes, and ever since I have searched for a way to put them right. Finally, I have found what I have been looking for. You, Gabriel. One pure of heart who can wield the gauntlets and prevent the Corruptor's coming. You are the most vital part of a plan set in motion when I first foresaw Albion's demise. And did you foresee us winning? Not even I could foresee that. Once we reach Kraken's Jaw Beach, we must head to the cliff top. There we will find a colors gate. I can use it to transport us to the spire. I wonder what's behind that door. I've got to see what's behind here. Do what you must, but hurry, Gabriel. Evil is everywhere in this place. I'll be as quick as I can. I should have known there wouldn't be anything good through it.
Hope that's the last of those things. All done, let's get moving. Reva Industries. This was one of Reva's many factories, slave labor camps by any other name. Doubtless he abandoned this place when he saw what was brewing over the spire, leaving his workers to fend for themselves. The more I hear about this man, the less I like him. You're fortunate you never had to work with him. You worked with him? It was a means to an end, an experience I would be loath to repeat. hardly see the sun anymore. More victims of the Harbingers. All these people, families, wiped out in an instant. No one should have to die like that. In war, it is always the innocent who suffer the most. So you're the ones who've been blocking our way.
Time to get that gate open. Finally. Let's get moving. Good work, Gabriel. Old part of the service. Little on the steep side, isn't it, Seren? Pops! Again! You keep us on the road, girl, and I'll keep us safe. like the last of them. down. I hope all the work has got away safely. I'll go find a way to clear us a path. Help with that blockade. Got 
keep moving. Locked. Just need to get these barrels in place. It's going to take more than this to keep us out. Saren! Come on! Press onward, Gabriel. You don't have to tell me twice. I wasn't sure if I'd ever see that bridge again. Not long to go now, girl. Nearly there. Just one last push.
The Spire. Finally, the threads of time converge. Our journey is almost at an end.
this colour gate to get us to the spire. You hear that, girl? It's gonna be all right. We're going over there. Gabriel, I can only transport us. <coughs> what do you mean? My powers are too diminished from the Devourer's attack. No. I can't leave Seren. <coughs> if you delay, the only fate that awaits us is death. <coughs> but I can protect us. Even if you could defeat those hordes, by then it would be too late to stop the Corruptor. You have no choice. You brought us here knowing I couldn't take Seren with us. And if I had told you, what then? Ah! I should leave you here, not her. The heroes in your fables, each of them faced impossible choices, made sacrifices. It's why their stories endure, why the world endures. No. Please, Gabriel, before it's too late. Gabriel! <laughs> We don't have much time. We must reach the spire, or all will be lost. Take my hand. We must go to the Spire now, while we still can. This is our last chance, Gabriel. I can't! If we do not go now, it will be too late.
Gabriel, you cannot delay any longer. All right. <coughs> What's happened, girl? Got a bit of mud on you. Never been looking after you properly, have I? Well, looks like you won't have to drag me around in that bloody cart anymore. You know, don't you? No hero in any fable ever had a greater friend. Gabriel. Goodbye, girl. You must stay focused, Gabriel. The Corruptor's arrival is at hand. I'm ready. Stay here. For the last hundred years, I have sought a way to defeat the Corruptor. Finally, I found it. Well, what is it? You must channel the light through me, Gabriel. Through you, but... One last trial. That's it, Gabriel. Keep going. Darkness take hold. This world is over, Gabriel. A new age is upon us. Teresa! Teresa! My wish is made. The heart of the spire is now yours. What's happening? When the time comes, step forward and accept your destiny. What do you mean? I don't understand! You will. Step forward, and 
and accept your destiny. The heart of the spire. Time to finish this. The power to create a better future lies within us all. If we only act, if we only believe. But without sacrifice, there can be no victory. Perhaps a time will come when Albion again faces the fall of night. Until then, I'll be waiting. Until then, I'll be watching.